What's up, Goat Yogi? I'm Johnny Brand. And I'm Jimmy Nair. And we're both farmhands at Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga. We hope everyone had an amazing weekend. I know we did. It's always fun throwing goat parties around Colorado. We have a really cool highlight video prepared for you guys. But first, I would like to talk about the contest that RMGY is having. If you were in a middle school or high school, and live between Pueblo to Fort Collins and Lyman to Breckenridge, you should definitely enter the contest. The main thing I love about this contest is that it's meant to help raise awareness for animal-assisted therapy. There will be a link in the description below that will help navigate you to register for this contest. The contest will be in the form of the webpage, but you must be an adult to enter the contest, so grab a teacher or a parent that is willing to participate. We look forward to seeing your guys' video submissions. We hope you enjoy this week's highlight video. Until then, much, much love and baby, baby goats. What's up, Goat Yogis? Thanks for joining this week's episode of Goat Talk, where I tell you what I know about goats. Now, I don't know everything about the goats. Uh, what I've learned has mostly been from the farmers or uh, just by working with them and being a goat handler. Okay? Uh, today, I'm gonna talk to you about how I taught the goats how to do tricks. Well, it's really simple. If you have the treats, you have the power. Uh, from a very early age, I started working with the goats and doing finger commands. I wasn't allowed to give any audible ca uh, commands during the lessons because I didn't want to disrupt. I didn't want to talk during the lesson and interrupt the yoga instructor's delivery. Okay, so most of the uh, commands that they know are actually by finger pointing and knowing that I have treats. Okay, then we can graduate to audible commands. Okay, now how I taught the goats how to wave at me is just like this. First of all, Rude Boy needed to know how to jump up, okay? So all I gotta do is take my finger like that and he knows what to do, all right? Now I give him a treat, okay? I work with him on this step and then I go like this and say wave, okay? Now he'll start to mimic me and do the same thing. Wave, Rude Boy, wave, okay? 
That's a good boy. That's a very good boy. All right, so the next thing that we can do is get him to jump up onto a tabletop or something, okay? And then perform the trick. All right, good boy. I want you to jump up. Come here, buddy. I want you to jump up. Good job, buddy. Okay, so he knew that I wanted him to jump up just by me pointing at the table. Now, the next step is to get them to wave at me like this, okay? Just waving my hand back and forth and they can mimic, mimic that movement. But every time I do it, okay, when we're in training, I say, wave. Simone, don't push your brother off. Come on, buddy. Good job, good job. Share the space. All right, wave. Wave, come on. Hey, 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 don't be disgusting, bro. Come on. Come on, Simone. Simone doesn't like when another goat steals in front of it. All right, wave at me, rude boy. Wave at me. Okay, cool. So now he's graduated to the audible commands. Okay, first we start with. This, and then we graduate to wave, wave, rude boy, wave, rude boy. Good job, good job. We graduate to wave, good boy, good boy. <laughs> he is a good boy. Come on, up. Oh. Y'all excited for goat yoga? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. You guys excited for goat yoga? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Awesome. Y'all ready for goat yoga? Yeah! Awesome. You guys ready for goat yoga? Yeah! 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 Awesome. Y'all excited for goat yoga? Yeah! You guys excited for goat yoga? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys excited for goat yoga? So excited! We're on film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You guys excited yeah. for goat yoga? Very excited, yeah. We have no idea what to expect. Awesome. <laughs> Are you guys excited for goat yoga? 100%. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous. Y'all excited for goat yoga? We're very yeah. excited for goat yoga. Yeah. Oh, we're going for a white. I did what you did. Oh, really? Okay, you did you did you goat free. yoga? <laughs> What's up, Goat Yogis? When I started this business back in 2017, I never would have imagined that it would come this far. A lot of what I love about Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga has to do with the goats and the amount of happiness that we bring to the community and the smiles that we create. I love the fact that the goats can put me in a good mood no matter what. I'm able to teach my son and my nephew work ethic. That's why I love working for Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga. 
So how long have you been working for Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga, Jimmy? Two and a half years. Since you were 12 years old, huh? Yeah. Is it an easy job? Not really. What's your favorite <laughs> part about working with Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga? The goats. The goats? Yes. Is it fun working with your dad? Yeah. Are you lying? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come a long way since we started, haven't we, boy? Yep. Long ways. Do you remember what we started with? Yep. What did we start with, son? A nitro, a tent, and a table with a liability sheet. And one Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga banner. What's up, Johnny? What's up? How long have you been working with Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga? For, I'd say, a little over half a year now. About six months? Yeah. Awesome. What's your favorite part about working with us, dude? Probably being able to see these goats every weekend and putting a smile on people's faces. So is it easy work, Johnny? Is it an easy job? It can be, but it can also be hard sometimes. It's what, like a mix. What's hard about it? Sometimes, like, I don't know. I guess there's nothing really hard about it. I guess I just get distracted easily doing things. So it's helping you, helping you focus. It's yeah. helping you learn how to focus. Yes. Awesome, man. What about work ethic? Do you feel like you're learning good work ethic here? I feel like I am learning a lot of work ethic. Like, I feel like this job is really helping me um, be able to find better jobs than most people would be able to get just because I'm starting off at, at such an early age and being able to understand what it's like to have a boss and just to, I guess, make money what and have a job. Timesheets, uh, so pretty much you record your hours, you put them, put them in there, and then every Wednesday I send them to my boss and then he'll do payroll on Thursday. Do you have a I'll bank get, account? I do, I have a bank account. Okay, do you know how to manage that bank account? I sure do. Absolutely. How old are you? I'm 15. Birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Johnny. Thank you. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Boy has a bank account. <laughs> He's learning work ethic. Yeah. Making people smile, cultivating happiness. Across Colorado with our goat parties. Doesn't get any better, does it, bud? Nope. All right. So how do you like teaching for Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga, Catherine? I love it. It is so unique and so fun. I really enjoy it a lot. What's your favorite part about teaching goat yoga? Um, I think seeing how happy the goats make everybody in class. There's so many laughs and giggles. It's, it's a lot of fun. So can our guests expect to get a uh, good workout out of this lesson? Yes, absolutely. Whether you're a first timer or you're an experienced yogi, I think you can come and not only have so much fun with the goats, but also you'll have a good workout and you'll get exposure to yoga, even if it's your first time doing it. How long have you been working the goat yoga, Willie? Two years now, ever since we started. I am the general manager here at Rocky Mountain Goat Yoga. So I deal with private events, I deal with guest relations, deal with Lots of goats. Was that an easy job to get? No, I had to work the whole time for it. But you know what? Absolutely worth it. Oh man, this is the best job in the world. These guys are so sweet. <laughs> and they're rambunctious. They just make me laugh all the time. You know, and, and another thing is, not only the goats, but I love to bring people a smile. You know, if I make their day, that's, that's the best reward or I mean, thing that I can do, you know? It's, it's my favorite thing. So, love making the people happy and the goats make me happy. It was fabulous. It was very amusing and relaxing. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh my God, we gotta get a picture of this. We saw a video on like Facebook and we were like, we have to do this. It lived up to expectations. Lovely. It was really fun. Oh, I like yoga in general, but adding a adding a goat is a great element. It was excellent. It, um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Very fun. A lot of goats. <laughs> it was a lot more goat than even I expected. Like I thought they would just kind of hang around and roll around like my cats do, but they're very interactive. So I'd give it a ten for interactivity with the goat. So amazing. Yeah, that was awesome. I was a little scared to be honest going into it, but now I kind of want to go to yoga. <laughs> yeah.
They were super cute so and really cute. friendly. Yeah. Yes. So fun. It's like a massage. It is. Making things flow. Oh. I loved it. It was awesome. Yeah. It was really fun. <laughs> is it a good family activity? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I've worked with this to everybody. This is great. Do you like the yoga or the goats better? The goats. <laughs> it was super fun. So fun. <laughs> Great, thanks. Nice. Enlightening. <laughs> oh! Hey, baby, can I interview you guys while we go tell you back? Let's go, yeah. Sure. Nice. So, how was your experience with Rocky Mountain Go Yoga? Pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah? What, what was the craziest thing that happened? Uh, having like three goats in my back at once. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Thank you. Hey, y'all, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no. This one doesn't like yeah,